Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. Y'all have got to come back and join me. This is my biggest Timu haul ever. I can't tell you how many items. I can't tell you. I've got kitchen. I've got gadgets. I've got toys. I've got helpful things. I've got jewelry. I've got clothes. I've got pocketbook. I've got everything. So come on back and join me. sunshines and how are you today i am wonderful now that i'm here with you the weather's cloudy it's a little gloomy and foggy and you know what we didn't get the snow they were calling for we got rain i didn't get to see my snowflakes but i got my snowman on and my snowman earrings so i'm still dreaming of snow i'll get it sooner or later i hope so well, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. We're going to have so much fun today. I do enjoy spending time with you and showing you all the neat things that I find and sharing a little bit about myself and my family with you. So, today, oh my goodness gracious, today... The Team Boo haul I have for you, this is the biggest haul I've ever done. Oh my gracious. And I've got kitchen. I've got gadgets. I've got outdoor things. I've got indoor things. I've got toys. I've got jewelry. I've got makeup. I've got nail things. I've got clothes. I've got pocketbooks. I'm telling you. I've just got it all today, so I'm very excited to start. But first, I want to tell you about my affiliate link. Some of you have asked about it. My affiliate link and my affiliate code is down in the description. So if you scroll down, it's at the very top of the description, right under my title page of my channel, which is this, that, and everything else, because you know we do everything on this channel, and I can't wait to get started back on the dollhouse so we can get working on that, but my, like I said, my affiliate link and my affiliate code is there, so if you're on Timu and would like to use that, that would help me out, and I'd appreciate that, but everything that I show you will be in the description column down under the description. All you have to do is click on that link. It's going to take you right to the item, not to my order or not to anything else. Now, all the prices that I'm going to give you today are the prices that are within 24 hours of the posting of this video. So, there were current prices at the time that I posted the video. So, just take a look at the date on the video and you can see what the prices was there. So, hopefully you can catch those sales. They're having them all the time. And this New Year's sale is really, really good. And you know with Timu, it's an online marketplace with thousands of vendors. And all of those vendors are competing for competition. So, that's how we're able to get those good prices and those price adjustments don't forget your price adjustments so you do have to go get them they don't give them to you so check your orders for those price adjustments and if you're questioning should i get this should i not get this i don't know da, da, da. remember their refund policy is 90 days 90 days unheard of unheard of and it's very easy i've returned items with no questions asked. Just print your label if they ask you to return something and drop it in the mail or take it to the post office, whichever is easier for you. My mailman is so trained, he just picks them up for me. So he knows, he knows, he's great, he's great. And also, if you play the farmland and fishland games, if you scroll down under the description of all the items, 
you'll see my codes for those games. So you can play Farm Lane and Fish Lane with me. So I would really enjoy that. So before we begin, I just want to thank God for this channel and all the blessings that he's bestowed upon me and my family and how this channel has grown. This channel started on August 29th of last year. And I remember when I started this channel, I didn't think I was going to have a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. That was my wish. And look at the already January 7th. And I just went over 1,700. So thank you so much. To God be the glory. We have made a successful channel. So now, what you came to see, Timu. So, the first thing I want to show you, you might think it's a little strange, but, oh, I don't need my trusty, dusty little cloud. I have some kitchen cabinets, and when I close them now, the hinges work real good, but they make noise. The wood hits the wood, and I'm not into that. So, for a dollar and seventy cent, these are 3M, so these are good sticky. I just got some of the rubber little buttons. It just rubber little, I'll peel one off for you. It's just a rubber little button. See? But it's going to work like a little shock absorber. So when I put it on the corner of my cabinet door, when my cabinet door hits the wood, I'm not going to hear it anymore. I'm not going to hear anything. So, if you've got some cabinet doors like mine, I got a couple that are acting up. Just get you some little rubber stickies. These will work in the bathroom too. I got one under the sink cabinet that wants to do that too. So, just some little rubber stickies and stick them on those cabinet doors, and then you won't hear that. And these were a dollar seventy cent. And I have no idea how many you get. Two, four, six, eight, ten times three, six, ten. A hundred for a dollar seventy cent. I'm never going to use a hundred. But that was a good deal. So I'm real happy about that. So. Now. Y'all know that I had been collecting a lot of stuff. Making homemade bread. Well. Found out there's a couple things I need to make it easier. I'm old fashioned. Just give me a dishcloth, clean dishcloth, and I'll put it over my bread bowl to rise and whatnot. Well, that was working out good for me. But then I found out that when I make my loaves, I need to rest them for the final rise. You can't lay that in a dishcloth. So, for $2.19, now this is thicker than cheesecloth. And it's bigger than I thought it'd be. But for that final rest of your bread before you put it in the oven, got my bread cloth. Just a simple little cloth, $2.19. But as you can see, it's more canvassy. So you're not going to have any lint or fuzz or anything. I didn't even want to try a dish cloth. But that's what this is made for bread. And I've got. Another little thing for my bread that's going to help me with messes when you have to knead the bread and knead the bread and knead the bread and knead the bread. And y'all know some bread you have to knead more than others. Some you can, you don't want to overwork because you don't want to overwork the gluten in the bread. But some bread you have to knead and knead and knead. So... This is a kneading bag. Now, it's very thick. It's very thick. It does have some stretch to it. It's silicone. But when your bread's in here and it comes with a, a tie, well, you can tie the top up through these holes. But, and what you can do, once you got your kneaded bread in here, the first rise you can do in here. Put your dough ball in here, and then you close it up bottom to top, and then 
string this up and let your dough ball do your first rise in here. So, it's just some shortcuts. You can knead it right in here. Put your dough ball in here and just roll it across the counter. Knead it in here and then let you do your first rise in here. So, I thought that was real neat. And that was $2.98. So, save my counter. Bunch of flour on it. Save me. Do the first rise. So, hey, 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 hey. Now, this next little thing was just something cute. Y'all know how I love sponges. I love sponges. I collect sponges. And I don't keep a sponge long. Because I just, the germs and stuff, and you can't disinfect a sponge good. I, I don't care what they say, put chemicals on it. Now, this one has a nice little scrubby back on it. And this is like a scouting pad. But look at that. It's a little kitty cat. Now, they had, I think, four different designs of kitty cats. I just chose this one. 89 cent. Just for a kitty cat sponge. It's really soft. You got this, like I said, the scouring here. And then your rough scrub here. Just a little kitty cat sponge. And it's supposed to sit on the side of your sink. Let's cut. But isn't she cute? 89 cent. How could I say no? You don't know me. I'm a sucker for sponges. So, now this next item. You know, sometimes when you take medication, I don't know if you experience it, but I do. I get dry mouth. I do. Some of my medications, especially these new ones, give me dry mouth. So this is just a little popsicle. It's all silicone. 98 cent. Just fill it up with whatever you want. Orange juice, lemonade, Kool-Aid, whatever you want. And then just pop your little tops on. Pop your little tops on. There you go. Stick it in the freezer. And then you just got a tiny little popsicle. Just enough to wet your mouth and your throat. You know, and get a little flavor in there. But I was been, you know, chewing ice. And I'm like, I don't think that's good for my teeth and everything. So, I picked up this. Like I said, $1.98. And you get six little tiny popsicle sticks. So, I'm going to try that and see if that doesn't help that dry mouth, you know, from the medications. So, I, I thought that was real cute. Now, there's the spoon again. Y'all know I collect spoons. What does this one say? I wonder what this one says. This one says nothing. You're wondering, why did she buy a spoon that said nothing? Can you see the little kitty cat face on it? Isn't that cute? Just got a little sleeping kitty cat face on it. I know, me and my kitty cats. Me and my kitty cat. And that cat spoon was $1.39. Now, look at these spoons. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to see them. I haven't opened them. Aww. They're supposed to be little ceramic spoons. Let's see. Let's see them. Um, the ceramic. There's one. They got good weight to them. They're heavy. Oh, look at them. They're little strawberries. And they're ceramic. Little ends. Just little strawberry spoons. Just something to sit around. But I thought they were cute. And these little strawberry spoons were $3.36. I just thought they were adorable. I have no idea what I'll use them for. If you have any suggestions. <laughs> I just thought they were cute. I likes them. I likes them. Now these... I've used these before. These are great. Say you want to make a, a sandwich. Bologna and cheese. Okay, you want a bologna and cheese sandwich. You want your bread toasted. Well, what are you going to do? Well, you get four of these. And these bags, $2.98, four of these. These are completely reusable. 
You take your bologna and cheese sandwich. You put it in this little bag. Then you put this whole bag in your toaster. Yes, yes, yes. In your toaster. Now, this bag is fireproof, heat resistant. So you've got a bologna and cheese sandwich in this toaster, in this bag. Not only is it going to toast your bread, but it's going to heat your bologna. It's going to melt your cheese. And you are going to get a great sandwich without having to pull the frying pan out. Add butter for those of you that add butter when they grill their sandwich or toast it. And without the butter, that's more nutritious and better for you. And you've got a toasted, heated sandwich. Come on now. Come on. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Nice hot sandwich. $2.98. Four bags, reusable, toaster, heat up anything. Good deal, good deal, good deal. You know I wouldn't steer you wrong. Now, this little thing. This is a knife sharpener. I'm going to try to get it open. Me and my nails, I know. <laughs> All right, what did it come with? Wait a minute, what is this? Hold on. Came with a foam sticky. Okay, so you got a foam sticky to put in the bottom. So you can sit it on your counter. Now, this is a knife sharpener. So you just run your knife through here. It's small. It's compact. It'll fit right in the back of your silverware drawer. But you need to keep your knife sharp. You need to make sure you keep it sharp. Because in a couple months, we're going to have them good old tomatoes coming. And who doesn't like a tomato sandwich? So you always need to keep your blade sharp. In fact, that reminds me of something. The sword of the spirit. Ephesians 6, 11, I think it starts at verse 11, where it says, put your body, put your armor of God on, where it talks about the sword of the spirit. Now, do we know what the sword of the Spirit is when we put on our armor of God? The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. Now, we're supposed to put on our armor of God every day. And especially now in this time. Because there's so much evil in this world. So, if you get a chance, read Ephesians 6. Chapter 6. Start it. You, well, you great to read the whole chapter, but the armor of God starts, I think, at verse 6. So read that. Because we should put our armor every day because this world is so full of evil. We need to. Now, this is not coming out. And this is in styrofoam. So, it's one of those ones where we're going to have to open the bottom and push it out. So, let's open the bottom and push it out. Okay, we're having a hard time doing that. Oh, Ooh, there you go. You're wondering, what is this? I know what it is, but I haven't seen it. This is a glass, but it's a special glass. This is a... Oh, I thought it was broken there for a minute when I looked at the top. This is a rose. Look at that. I'm holding from the box to see the bend. Isn't that beautiful? Now tell me how I can have things shipped that are plastic and break. And then I can get this beautiful glass. Look at the top. You see the top, how it's molded? Look at that. Beautiful. Look at the leaves. Beautiful. And this glass was $8.47. No, it'll probably never be used. I'll just stick it in the shelf with my other glasses. See how glassy it is. This glass. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? I love it. I absolutely love it. And for $8.47. So that was cute. Now, 
This little gadget you're going to laugh at me about. You're going to laugh at me. But I got this because my granddaughter brought up a good point. She says, ain't that nasty when you have to touch the toilet seat to lift it up? I'm thinking, well, I scrub my toilet seat. I try to keep it clean. You know, so this little thing. It's got a sticky where you just peel it back and stick it. But it's just a little handle that you put on the edge of the top of your toilet seat. Well, the, the lid of your commode. And what you get is where well, you can pick up the lid. So, if it makes her happy, makes me happy. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, this little seat cap was 98 cent. It came in several different colors. I just got white because my top is white. Now, I have one of the Timu covers, decal covers with flowers on it. But I've got enough room at the edge to put this on. So, I just thought it was cute. I told you you'd laugh at me. Now, this next little contraption is just as cute as it can be. I'm curious to see how it works. So, this is something we will try out. All right. All right. Let's, 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 let's. Okay. Um, comes with a hook. Another hook. Okay, another hook. And, oh, they've got it tied. Okay. Let me figure out how they've got it tied. Okay. Alright. Okay, I think you space these out. So let me pull these down and space them out. Okay. I know, I'm like you. What the hey? What the hey? Might have to space them out some more, but... This is supposed to be a contraption that you hook your socks to. And you can wash and dry your socks when it's attached to this. That way, you don't lose socks. Because my grandchildren swear that the sock dryer monster eats their socks. So I'm trying to figure out how this works. You've got the little push so it moves up and down here. I guess it's just pressure of putting the socks in between them. And that holds the sock if you put the sock between the, the threads here and then push them. I don't know. I'll have to look at the ad again, but I don't think this is going to be one of the next great inventions of the world. Yeah, we'll have to work on that. We'll have to work on that. But that little is dollar fifty two cent. So we'll see. We'll see. The next one is perfect if you got little ones. These are little corner. They're soft silicone. So you have their space for corners. They're made for putting on your furniture. The corners of tables and things. So if the little ones fall or hit it. Well, I'm not a little one. I'm a big one. But I keep hitting my knees. So I got this. So I can stop getting bruises. You know when you're on blood thinners. My goodness, you just touch me and I bruise. So I have that one table. That's between our two recliners. That for some reason, every time I get it from the recliner, it, it jumps out at me. It does. Don't laugh at me. It jumps out at me. <laughs> so, these fit 
right over the corner of the table. And now it won't jump out at me. And these were $1.52 for four of them. So I'm going to try those out. Now, did it come with directions? Oh, it came with sticky tabs. Okay, sticky tabs. I was looking. I said, come with directions. Why would it come with directions? It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe the child's installing it. <laughs> there you go. The child's installing it, so we need directions. <laughs> That's funny. All right. This next little thing is neat. You know, now with crime and these cyber things going on, these, and you get 10 of them, these are those little card protectors where you put your bank cards and your credit cards in here and put them in your wallet. And even if you walk by somebody that's got one of those scanners, that can scan your bank cards within the wallet. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, yes. It's a real thing, and it's out there. Somebody can be in the elevator beside you, be standing beside you in line, and be scanning your bank card or credit card. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The technology's unreal out there. So, you get these little things, and when your card's in there... They can't do it. And there were 10 of these for $1.08. So I'm going to put my bank card in it and my credit card's in it. And it's sticking to the paper to get it back in here. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, wow. Technology has gotten so, and then all the crooks are up on the technology. It's unreal. It's absolutely unreal. Now, got more gadgets. I don't know about y'all, but my husband has to have a fan on. I'm just going to open one. There's 25 in here. He has to have a fan on when he sleeps. It, it doesn't matter. Spring, summer, winter, or fall. He has to have a fan on. Well, I got these, and these look plastic. They are plastic. Now, how is this supposed to be a fan filter? The fan's not going to blow through plastic. This is supposed to be a fan filter. Mm-mm. $1.79. You put this over a fan, and the fan's not going to blow. I'm confused. Am I the only one confused? supposed to be a dust cover. I figured it would be something like cheesecloth, you know? Something like that, or the light cloth to, to help with the dust. I mean, it said dust cover. <sighs> yeah. We need to go back and look at that ad again. I think somebody got something wrong. Check your SKU number. Do something. Because I put that on a fan. I'm going to burn my motor up. That fan's not blowing nothing. So this is a definite over here. That's worse than the sock thing. We're not doing too good, are we? Jiminy. I mean, Jiminy. All right, we got another item. We're getting all these sponsored bags. I'm telling you. It's like everything I order is in these bags. Okay. This is a travel pillow. I'm trying to see where it is. I don't see it in here. It is travel pillow. It is six dollars and forty-eight cents. Now you say, why did you buy a travel pillow? Well, let me tell you, this is not an ordinary travel pillow. Let's open up this bad boy. Travel pillow. Look at it. it. Even says travel pillow. 
Oh, it's a patch. I thought it was a sticker. <laughs> Mercy me. All right, let's figure this thing out. Here we go. Okay, we got Velcro here. Strong Velcro. A lot of strong Velcro. <laughs> oh my gracious. Okay. More Velcro. All right, that just holds that in. We don't. We shouldn't open that. All right. This has a long scarf, and it's very, very soft. It's fleece. It's fleece. It's very, very soft. But this is stiff. You notice how it's stiff here? It's got a brace in it or something in it. And the idea of this travel pillow, see, you put it on your shoulder, and you can lean your head over. And then you <laughs> choke yourself and you wrap it around. And you wrap it around and forget where the Velcro is. Then you hook the fleece to the Velcro. Hold that thought. Wrap it around. Hook the Velcro. Okay. Can't find the Velcro. Hold on, where's the Velcro? Oh, there's the Velcro. Alright, hook the Velcro. And it's not tight. It's not tight at all. But then when you knot off, look at that. You got braced. And it's very comfortable on your shoulder. But it's better than leaning your head against the window. It's actually kind of comfortable. Yeah. I like it. Whoever thought of it did good. Now can I get out of it? <laughs> can I get out of it? So that's actually pretty neat. I like it. Yeah, because usually in the car, I'm leaning my head against the window. It's not comfortable for my back. It's not comfortable for my neck. It's this little travel pillow. I like it. I like it. Now, we got more goodies. We got more goodies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? I don't know what's in the box. I see a kitty paw. I see a kitty paw. I don't need that. I see instructions in Chinese. Okay, instructions in English under the Chinese. We got a charge cord. Looks like a C, the USB. And I'm going to peel this off because it's mine. I'm keeping it. They can't have it back. <laughs> Look, it's a little kitty. This, that button works. These two are for looks. I assume this is one and off. That's your charge port right here. Can you see it? It's hard to see in that dark. Cute little. That's a bear. I guess this is a bear paw, not a kitty paw. What this is, is a hand warmer. You charge it up and you just keep it in your pocket. This is a hand warmer. And this little hand warmer was $2.78. $2.78. Did you hear what I said? For a hand warmer. I mean, you go to a sporting goods store and buy a disposable one. You're going to pay more than $2.78. Love me some Timu. Love me some Timu. So that's real cute. That's real cute. Love that. Now... This thing. Oh my goodness. This is the craze of TikTok. This is the craze of TikTok. This is all over TikTok. And TikTok's selling them. They've got all kinds of stores selling this stuff. But <laughs> they're not selling it for $7.91. They're selling it for a lot more. 
Yeah, you should check out TikTok. It's selling it for a lot more. This is $7.91. You have directions in English. You have your USB. Again, looks like a Type C. And you have this little, you can pick your color. I picked green, but I think it looks more like teal. It's this little egg shaped thing. You got a plus and a minus and a middle button. Now, there's no buttons there. Don't know what that is. What you do is you hold this in your hand. You hold this in your hand when you're trying to sleep or go to sleep. And it puts off some kind of emits, let's say emits, it emits some type of vibration or some type of something. <laughs> and it's called a palm sleep massager. A palm sleep massager. But it's supposed to naturally help you fall asleep. Don't ask me. I looked up articles about it and everything else. People are swearing by it, saying it works. I don't know. But for that price, I said I'm going to try it out. It's better than taking sleeping pills. And it's better than taking melatonin all the time. I mean, just a little thing in your hand vibrating is going to work. I mean, I don't know. Are there nerves in your hand that have something to do with sleep? I don't know. But, like I said, it's worth a try. Now, <clears throat> this next thing. Y'all heard me talk about my husband going to the flea market. He loves to go to the flea market. But he ends up carrying bags and this and that around the flea market. And I've told him, honey, get a cart. I don't want a big cart. You, you, you know how men are. Oh, my goodness. So, I got him this. Check this out. Look at this thing. Very small. Very compact, right? Right? Let's watch it grow. We're going to unfold this. Okay. We're going to unfold this. Ah, we have wheels. We have wheels. We're going to unfold this. Whoops. <laughs> We're going to unfold this. We're going to poke this out. Look how big that is at the bottom. We're going to poke this out. Look at that. Look at that big old cart. Look at those handles at the top. Look at that. Look at that big old cart. Good stuff. Now, this is canvas. It's lined in here. It's waterproof. Good stitching. Good strong handles. Little wheels. Little cart to make. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look how wide that is. Come on. Straighten out. Straighten out. Look how wide that is. Is that not perfect for the flea market? And this little cart was... Cart was <laughs> I'm looking six dollars and forty eight cents. Is that not cute? Now let's see if we can put it back together. Whoops. I'm knocking stuff on the floor. Put it back together. Fold it here. Fold it down. Ugh. Fold it down. Ugh. Roll it back up. Whoops, I forgot to put the handles in. Handles in. Roll it back up. And all he's got to do is carry this little thing around until he buys some. Then he's got wheels. $6.48. And let me get what I dropped because we're going to look at it later. 
we're gonna look at it later when we get to this side of the desk. I got one more thing on this side of the desk. <laughs> All right, this last thing on this side of the desk is beautiful. But I warn you, it's gonna make a lot of noise. A lot of noise. This was $12.98. All right. I got bubble paper. I got lots of plastic. I don't know how it's wrapped. Oh boy. Bear with me. It's going to take me a hot minute. Or two. If you got biscuits in the oven, you might as well go get them. <laughs> My goodness. I mean, they packaged it very well. They, it did. They packaged it very well. I'll give them credit for that. Is that all? All right. Let's see if it's going to come out right. All right. Are we ready? Let me move the box down here. All right. Let's try. Wait a minute. This one's all discombobulated. For the sound because you can see it's got the little cups and a bigger size pipe. Listen, I mean, this one's jacked up. I shouldn't be down on top of the. Oh, I see you fell. I think it sounds cool. I like it. What do y'all think? Like the sound? Not that sound. <laughs> Not that sound. Just we're laying it down. Yeah, I think that's going to be nice. I think and that was twelve ninety eight. I, I like it. I like it because it's got the sound of the bigger pipes. And I think the bigger pipes give it that, I don't know, just that sound. That sound. I like that sound. All right. Got more tricks over here. This little gadget. This little gadget. This is a shopping bag. This is a shopping bag. Does that look like a shopping bag? Say no. Don't to me either. Let's figure out how we work it. Alright. I'll never get it back in. <laughs> Okay, did I pull too much out? I don't know. All right, we pulled it all out. I'm not sure. All right, so. Do we turn it wrong side outwards? To put this in it, I get, let's turn it wrong side out. What's that? way we can put the little round thing in. It. Okay, there we go. That looks better. I don't know if you're just supposed to, but at least you can store a little round thing in it, and it's not rolling around. Okay. Let's see how bad, big, bad, how big this bag is. I guess I was thinking it was gonna be a little bigger. Yeah, because I was thinking when you go to Certain grocery stores that don't have bags, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's kind of small. That's even too small to carry to the farmer's market. Unless you were getting a couple things. I guess you could use it for the farmer's market. 
But I think I'd rather take the little cart, wouldn't you? And this little bag was two thirty-eight. I mean, it was neat. It's a good idea. I think just for me, because I, I usually don't go and pick up one thing. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm bad. Yeah, I, I usually can't go anywhere and pick up one thing. I usually have to pick up more than one thing. Now, how do we get this back in here? Does it tell us how we get it back in here? What turns? Oh, this turns. All right. Let's see if we can get it back in here. Yeah, because I would probably lose patience. Yeah, because you got to squish it. And... I mean, it's not going in too bad. It's not. It's going in easier than I thought it would. I have to confess. It's going easier than I thought it would. Oh, we're home free now. We're at the handles. And you just turn it. So there we go. That's not bad. For somebody doing a little bit of shopping, that would be perfect. $2.38. That's kind of cool. Now this next thing is just for fun. Something to sit on my desk. Just something neat to have. Something you can put on your desk. You know, if you're giving out little things. And whatnot. They're paper clips. They're just little paper clips. Let me get a couple out and show you. Alright. There's one. Little kitty cat. There's another one. Oh, he's laying down. Are they all laying down? Black one. Are they all in the same position? Yeah, I guess they are. I've got green. Oh, they're all tangled up. Green, red, black, purple. There's to be 50 of them in here. Yeah. Whoops. We got our tangled kitty cat. We got our tangled kitty cat. And I'm not sure how to get that. Oh, I got to go this way. <laughs> It's like a puzzle. Let's get some paper clips. Yeah. Okay. All different colors. But they actually look like cats, don't they? They're really, really cute. They were $1.98. For 50. I mean, somebody gets a paper clip with a kitty cat on it. They'll say, where'd that come from? Oh, the crazy cat lady. Now this, y'all you know, heard me talk about taking Trixie on her walks and stuff. Well, I got this from my phone. It goes around your neck like this. And I don't have other phone in here. But your phone goes in here like this. Whoops. Like this. Just wraps the corners around just the rubber corners wrap around your phone like this and then it goes around your neck so you'd have your phone around your neck hands free so you got the leash in one hand your hands free your phone's right here so still if you wanted to talk on it you still got plenty of room in to talk on it. and this is not going to interfere with any buttons on your phone or anything like this. Dollar seventy nine cent. So just trying to make my walks with Trixie easier. Easier. Now these little gizzy gadgets, I recommend these. It doesn't matter what style you get, if you get the cord covers of these, you really need to invest in cord covers because that's what makes your cords go bad. Where you connect them to your phone and they get bent. These are stiff. You just wrap them around where the cord connects. Where your charger goes in. And 
they keep your cords from bending. And I'm telling you, they do bend. And that's where your cords go bad. I'm trying to think. Does this have an end? No, this is a plug end here. But what you do, if this was your charger that went into your phone, you just take this and just put it in here and just wrap it around. It's very simple. But it keeps it stiff so that cable's not going to bend or break on you. It only takes a half a second. Yeah, well, i got to get this one. I'm going to put it down too far. <laughs> no, I can't get that one. Come on, get in. Yeah, see? Now that's stiff. That's not going to bend or break or twist. So, I highly, highly recommend those. I mean, it doesn't matter what style you get, but just to have that extra support. And those were 127 and I think you get 3, 6, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. This little gadget. Oh, I can't wait to open it. I've been wanting to open it so bad. This is a glue pen. It's a glue pen, but it's not an ordinary glue pen. I'm excited about this. It's supposed to have some kind of refractive thing where it cures the glue like in five seconds yeah yeah it's supposed to work on wood china what is this? of course they put you know the sticker over everything and it comes with glue in it okay this is the end where the glue comes out of. And this is the curing light. Whoops. Sorry about that. So you put the glue in, put the glue on whatever you're trying to glue. And then use the curing light just for five seconds. And it's going to cure the glue where it dries. Isn't that amazing? Whoops. Is that dropping? <laughs> so I'm really excited about this. So. We'll probably be using this on the dollhouse and some of the dollhouse furniture and stuff. So we will try it out then. Yeah, I'm excited about that one. In fact, I'm going to put it down in here with the dollhouse stuff. I have a box down in here of dollhouse stuff. So I'll put it right down there. And that glue pen was $3.98. So I'm happy about that. Happy about that. Now, this next thing is a little keychain. And I saw it, and it was so cute, so I had to pick it up. I had to pick it up. Now it said, little reminders, you are enough. It's okay to have bad days. Don't believe everything you think. You are so very loved. Be kind to yourself. And sometimes we forget that. We're so busy trying to make other people happy that we forget about ourselves. We forget who we are. We forget how special we are. We are one of God's children. We are special. You need to think about yourself and who you are. Don't always put yourself on the back burner and, and do things for others and not yourself. Because a lot of times you do that and you're going to end up hurting yourself. And that's not what God wants. He wants you to be happy. Go to the Word. The Word makes you happy. You can't be unhappy if you have the Word in your heart. It's impossible. Impossible. That keychain was 57 cents. Now this is a little sign. It was $2.89. And of course it's going to need glue. Oh, I'm working on gluing that box together. Y'all saw in the last haul for the recipe cards. So, I will show that to you when I'm finished. Oh, well, this is 
fitting in pretty tight. But I'm still wanting to glue it. It's just a cute little X's and O's. Hugs and kisses. $2.89. It's wood. It's pretty thick. It's pretty sturdy. I just thought it was cute. No special occasion. Just thought it was cute. I like cute. <laughs> I like cute. Alright. Now this one. Now, I'm not going to open my mouth. I'm not going to say a word. I'm just going to tell you that this sign costs $3.48. I'm not going to say a thing. I'm going to let y'all read the sign. And that's it. It came with a gingham string. $3.48. <laughs> now this, for those of you that, and I had a subscriber right in the last blanket I got, the pizza blanket. She had a good one. She said it was a Tawawa blanket. So, it's a Tawawa blanket, the pizza blanket. My granddaughter wants it, so she's getting it. So this one is a little blanket I had gotten. Now, this one came with a little bag to store the blanket in. So, that's nice. That's nice. But, let's see what this blanket is and how big this one is. <laughs> is this another Chihuahua blanket? <laughs> yeah, another Chihuahua blanket. A little bit bigger, though. A little bit bigger. I'm using it as a lap blanket. What do you think? Dino nuggets. <laughs> <coughs> this is what my other granddaughter asked for. She loves dinosaurs and chicken nuggets. So dino nuggets. And it's fleece. It's real soft. Very, very, very soft. Very soft. So she'll enjoy this. She will enjoy this. Very much so. And then that little blanket was $8.39. Was it worth $8.39? No. 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 But. Alright, we got a little makeup today. Let's say what we got. Beauty Glaze Lasting Waterproof Oil Control. Let's see what's in the box. Oh, we gotta do more than that. <laughs> this doesn't want to open. It says, nope. I don't want to open. I don't want you to see me. No, 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 no. You cannot open. Must terminate. Well, it's a compact. It's wrapped tighter than Fort Knox. Seriously. <laughs> Beauty Glaze Lasting Waterproof Oil Control. When I say tighter than Fort Knox, I wasn't kidding. All right, so we got a little mirror. Got a little. We got a plastic shield. <laughs> oh, that's awful light. Let's see. Feels good. No, it's not too light. Let me get a good amount out there. Can you see it? No, it's oil control. Now, the only place I have problems with oil control is around my nose. For some reason. Everything else is dry. 
But who am I? Those is oily. So we will give this a try. And this was $2.24. So, now this. I've tried foundations before. And I have a foundation from Kimo I really like. But this is the color changing foundation. That's supposed to change color with your skin. Now, I had bought something like this before, but this is different. This is supposed to be the color changing. I said, okay, it looks like the other bottle I bought, and it wasn't color changing, but this is supposed to be color changing. It says foundation skin base. Propel. So... Whoa, 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 whoa. I got an erupting volcano. Oh, look at that. It's all in the cap. <sighs> Wasn't quite what I was expecting. That's more than I'll ever use. <sighs> Let's see if it changes color with my skin. All right, we've put some on. <laughs> we've put some on, you see it's lighter. The patch, or it's lighter. Do we see a change? And if I rub it in more, it's just going to dissipate it. Well, we'll come back and look at it in a minute. All right, this is my favorite Timu mascara. Oh, that color change foundation was 348. This is my favorite Timu mascara. It's not expensive. It's only a dollar seventy nine. It's wear beauty great lash. It's twenty four hour. Like I said, it's not expensive, but this is my favorite. And then the back it says twenty four hour. But. Look at that fine brush. You see how fine that is? Now, y'all know, and y'all saw me haul, I'm using the eyelash foundation stuff now. So, that with this works great. And the mascara was $1.79. Now, we've got this Blue Thin. Blue Thin. All right, let's see what we got in here. It's still lighter than my skin. The edges are starting to get the color of my skin, but it's still lighter than my skin. Oh, oh. We got some cheek color. Some sparkly cheek color. This may have to go to the grandbabies. This don't want to open. There we go. I would say what colors they are. Yeah, in Japanese. <laughs> Chinese. I don't speak it. You see the colors? I like this one. But it's very sparkly. I mean, can you see the sparkles? I mean, very sparkly. And this little... Let's see. 
How much was this kit? Dollar seventy nine. It's still just a smidgen lighter. Can you see the one light spot right in the middle? Yeah, yeah, this one light spot right here. So, but it's all dry. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. All right, this is the pinky pink. This is the more cocoa. Oh, that's not even showing up. Okay. And this is the one I like. Can you see them? There's the pinky pink. A real bright pinky pink. There's the brown. And there's the one I like. Oh, we got three colors. Brown is not bad. Just the pinky pink, I think, is a little too pinky. Now, this next item is a new lip liner. I hauled this new lipstick, so I'm hoping this lip liner will go with one of those new lipsticks I hauled. But I can't remember what color I got. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Let's see. This is Dara D I K A L U. Alright, let's see. What we got? Okay. Looks pretty bright. Oh, yeah. Blender. Yeah. That's not going to go with either one of my new ones. But that'll go with some I already have. That's a dollar thirty-four. Yeah, that'll go with some I already have. So that'll work. That will work. Now, shower comb. Everybody needs a shower comb. So, I got a shower comb. Just big teeth to run through there. Little hook to hang on my little hooky thing. 97 cent. Everybody needs a shower comb. Now, this little contraption, if this works, it will be a lifesaver to me. This is supposed to be a pill popper for popping pills out of those cases. And I have been popping a lot of DayQuil and NyQuil. And it is really hard. I have to get the scissors and cut the whole case. So if this thing really, so I to just put it in, pop it through, the pill falls down here. So if this thing really punctures through those hard cases it is worth everything I paid for it and I only paid a dollar forty seven <laughs> listen to me talk like I paid all this money oh I would have paid more if it works so I'm hoping it works I'm excited about using it a pill popper pop through all those hard kit plastics I can't peel them back I tried and tried can't feel them back. So, all right. Got a couple little fun things. I like to get, just have little fun things on hand when the grandkids come over. Something to do or whatnot. So, I picked up some balloons. And you're going to say, okay, what's so special about balloons? They were $1.98. You get 20 of the big 10-inch multicolor. Then you get 20 of the black with the fluorescent glow in the black light, light up ones. Then you get 20 of the clear. Well, they don't look clear, but they will be clear with the black light glow in the dark fluorescent these. And they're just real cute. 
The kids blow them up and play volleyball with them and whatnot. It's just something to have on hand. I'll put them in the craft thing. I mean, like I said, you know, $1.98 for all these cute balloons. Just to have on hand. Like I said, the kids will blow them up, take them out in the yard, and play volleyball with them. Just to have something to do. And it's really cool. It's really neat. Now, we have two new shops for Duncan's little dupe. <laughs> Building Block Village. I'm telling you, if you have somebody in your life that likes building blocks, Timu is where you need to go. You're not going to find anything. I mean, look at this picture. Look at the detail in that little sweet shop. And that's what you get. All these building blocks are in here for $2.98. Look at that. And then you've got this one, which is the fruit stand. Look at the detail on that. $2.98. Now, anybody who's bought building blocks before is going to know that's a steal. Now, they have a new little contraption out. $1.48. Anybody who's dealt with dealing block de de <laughs> dealt with building blocks knows how hard they are to take apart. So, this little contraption is made to make it easier to take the building blocks apart. $1.48. So, it's supposed to aid them in taking them apart. Because I had my granddaughter when she built me that snowman out of the blocks. Her, she said, Grandma, my fingers are sore. <laughs> I felt so sorry for her. So, got her this. Hopefully, that'll help her out. Now, got some nails. Oh, I got a cute thing to show you about nails. Here, let me move this over here. Let me move this over here. All right. First of all, got a couple new. Let me open this one because I want you to see this one's got little crystals on it. Yeah, crystals. Don't know when I'll wear them, but check these out. Let's see little crystals on Look at that. Yeah, little crystals. Getting all fancy dancer, fancy dancer, fancy dancer. And they were a dollar eighteen. And then these, just something cute for spring. I think one of these has a crystal on it. Yeah, this one. And this one. Just something I saw that was on clearance for ninety eight cent. Getting ready for spring. Now y'all know when I do my gel when I do my gel nails. Alright, I give up talking. Forget it. Can't do it. It's all over. Cut, cut. <laughs> ah, hopeless. When I do my gel nails, I always put on clear tips because I still like long nails. Which I think I just lost one. Alright, that's the first time I've ever lost a nail. Shame on me. Alright, I use my clear tips. And these are the clear tips I get. I get a whole case of these clear tips. And I only pay $2.69. And there's a hundred clear tips. Now granted, I can't wear all the different sizes. I have to pick and choose because my hands are little. But... Clear nails are in here, a hundred of them for two dollars and sixty-nine cents. That's what I get. Now, y'all ask me because y'all hear me talk about before you do your nails, you've got to take care of your cuticles. That's going to make your natural nails grow, and that's also going to help your nails to stick when you clean your cuticles, and not only help them stick good. But when you clean them good, your gel polish is going to adhere better. So, these are my two weapons. This is my cuticle oil. For $1.99, 
Now, it comes in lots of different fragrances. I happen to get the orange because I like the orange. $1.99 cuticle oil. That I've got to open. I forgot they factory seal them like this. So, without cutting my fingers off, I'm going to try to open this. So you can see the apple here on it. But they seal it pretty good. <laughs> here we go. Okay. So, it's a roll. See that? It's a roll. And you just roll it around your cuticle and let it soak for a couple minutes. Then once you... Oh, it smells so good. I love the orange. And like I said, that was a dollar ninety nine. Then you want to come in with your cuticle wand. The links for everything's gonna be at the bottom. Your cuticle wand. It's a little rough, but this will take care of your cuticle. So you've put your cuticle oil on. You've left about two minutes, and then you go in with your wand and just push your cuticles back. And that's going to help keep them healthy. Now, I want to show you something. Saw this. Couldn't resist it. Probably never wear it. But, let's put it on. This is something new to Timu. They're fingertip rings. You ready? I don't know if you're ready. Because <laughs> I don't know if I was ready. Dollar fifty-eight cent. It's a fingertip ring. Look at that bling. I'm not trying to give you all the finger. Look at that. Just got crystals all over it. I'm trying to get it where I'm not giving you all the finger. I don't want you to think I am. Look at that. I don't like it here because it's got that separated. There were several styles to pick from, but when I picked it, it didn't look like it was separated. But yeah, it's a fingertip ring to wear over your nail polish. So, like I said, you, I'll probably never wear it, but it was cute. I had to try it. Now this is some good old fashioned gel polish. I picked it up because I like the color. And I love the bottle. It's Missidy. And it's a soak off. Let me show you the box. Missidy. And it's a soak off. And that polish was $2.49. Look at that bottle. Whoops. Isn't that bottle beautiful? Okay. And this is color T05. I did not have a Starry Night Blue. Now, this is a Cat's Eye Blue, but this is a Starry Night's Blue. Let me just see if I can do it on the back of this. To... Give you a little sample. Because remember I said I wanted a blue so I could do my snowflakes on a blue? There's the blue. Now, that's on paper. It'll be darker. Yeah, there you go. So, and that was $2.49. Now, I got a sticky situation. Hold on. I got stuff on the back. Cause like I said, this is a huge haul. So, I got to put my polish there and flip it over. <laughs> so, I don't get polish on my desk. All right, we got a little jewelry. And I got tricks under the desk, so let me scoop my boot. All right. I have got some little purple earrings that, and don't worry, 
We have got an earring palooza coming. I got my case that holds my 80 earrings. And honey, I got over 80 earrings. We're going to have an earring palooza haul. Now these are purple. But they're real light. Real light purple. And it's hard in this light. My backlight and everything's coming. I heard your comments. It's coming. It's on its way. So it's hard to see because that purple is so light. There's a side. I'm not real happy with them. They're not what I thought they were going to be. And look how you have to put them on. I like this because I like putting them on like this. Because it gives you plenty of room. So I like that. I like putting them on like that. But the, I don't know about that stone. It just looks brown. More brown than purple. So I'm not sure how happy I am with that. Now those were $1.98. Now the next thing I have. Is. Opals. We went and got some opals. I got these earrings. Must have been an opal kick. I got opal earrings, opal necklace, opal ring. But these are real cute. Look at those. Aren't those pretty? I love this. Yeah, that opal shining. Yeah, that opal reflecting light. And these opal earrings. Or $1.59. So I really like these. And when we go through our earring palooza, I'm only going to put the ones I really like in my earring holder. So we're going to go through them. Now this I got to be the matching necklace. It didn't have a matching necklace. So I'm going to make this the matching necklace. So, let's get it on. See what we think. Let me get it going on. Let me get it going on. So, y'all give me your opinion and tell me what you think of them matching. Trixie loves to be under my feet. And we're videotaping. Whoops, I knocked one out. That didn't help. Alright, tell me what you think. See, the bottom one's looking blue. It's picking up the other light. It's not looking white, but the bottom one is white. I don't know why it's looking blue. I can't get it to look white. But trust me, the bottom one's white. What do you think of the silvers? Why is that bottom one looking white? I don't know. But I think they're real pretty. Now, the necklace was $0.99. Cent. The earrings were $159. And I also got an opal ring. Yeah, I'm telling you, I was just in opal day. Now, here's the opal ring. The opal ring's looking blue, too. But there's the side of it. Let me focus in. Hold on. So. Yeah, it's looking blue. But there's my trio. I think they look good together. Like I said, I don't know what came over me. It was opal day. Everything had to be opal, opal, opal. So. And that opal ring was $1.29. Caught that on a good sale, too. I mean, Timu's jewelry is just so affordable. It is wonderful. Now, the next thing I have is a little green ring. And I got green because you'll see later on I hauled a shirt. 
Now this has got a little dragonfly on it and a little stone. I thought it was real pretty. There's the side of it. It sits up to the front, the side. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that beautiful? I just think that's gorgeous. And that little ring, it's a dollar and ninety-nine cent. Now, I got these and I thought I ordered them in green because I knew they had dragonflies on them and I was hoping they would match the ring, but they came in blue. Now these won't go on my stand. So I went back to see if I could order them in green and I couldn't, but they're just little, so you have to drag and fly over the stone, but the stone is blue. And you can't even tell it's blue. It's so dark. But they got the little dragonfly. So I was kind of upset about those. And these were 89 cents. Yeah. <clears throat> now this, y'all know I love me some sweater necklaces. Love me some sweater necklaces. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. This one I just fell in love with. Trixie snoring under the desk. <laughs> I've got to put this way up here because it's a long one. It's got the long, long chain. Look at that. And that is blue. Look way up here so you can see it. That is blue. Back here. Is that not gorgeous? That beautiful butterfly. Oh, now you can see the blue sparkle. Got it. And this necklace was $2.39. But I got me some little earrings to go with that other shirt that I had hauled a couple hauls ago. I can't show you these on the black because they'll wash out because they are dark. What are these? Five swinging. Thank you. They're very lightweight. They're foam. They're foam. But they're real cute. Nice cut out little design on them. And they were, and they were 89 cents. Now, I've got this one. And this is another one. It's not like I expected. It's not like the picture showed. So, we're going to try to get it like the picture showed. Got a nice long chain. But the picture had it all turned here. and Oh, it won't even turn. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, it won't even. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe it'll turn that way. No, it won't even turn that way. It's a little hourglass in the middle of the... Pendant. Can you see? It's real cute. But it was supposed to have more de definition. More to it than just that. So, um, that middle one was supposed to spin. So, I'm a little disappointed in that. And that hourglass necklace was $1.98. So, a little disappointing. Alright, the next piece I want to show y'all is a little pearl necklace. It's just a simple little pearl necklace. If I can get it open. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still trying to get over this mess. Ooh. Now, this is a lot shorter. This is what I would call a choker. And it's very short. In fact, I'm going to put it as tight around here. It does have an extension. But that is it. It's pretty. Beautiful little chain. 
just a single pearl, but it's pretty short. My neck's pretty fat, <laughs> but I do like it. And let me see, I'm probably gonna have to turn the dollar 48. Yep, turn my paper over. Turn my paper over. Dollar 48 for that cute little pearl necklace. So. Now the next one I have, I bought because the ad said it was 18 karat gold overlay. Now I do realize that 18 karat, oh, it's got some twists in it. Hold on. It's got a few twists in it. That, and it's supposed to be a 30 inch chain, which it is. It's very long. But it's got some kinks in it. Oh. And we know 18 karat is very soft. And it's got some kinks. And I'm not going to be able to get all the kinks out of it. I'm going to have to really take my time. And manipulate the chain. Yeah. Got most of them out. I only got one left in here. Let me see if I can get this one. That 18 karat gold is very soft. Very soft. So. We have to be careful with that. But this is 18 karat gold overlay. And it even says it on the chain. But I got a patch here that just does not want to come loose. So I'm going to have to work with it. But you can see how long the chain is. In fact, I'm going to double it when I hang it here. But see how shiny that is? I mean, it's a beautiful pattern. It's a gorgeous pattern. It's real pretty. It's a real pretty chain. And this gold chain was $2.48. So it's real, real pretty. I'll put this over here because that's my nice necklace. Now, this next is just a little stone. I thought it was going to be bigger, but we know how it goes with Timu. <laughs> we know how it goes. Sometimes things are bigger. Rarely. But most of the time they're smaller. This is one of those stones that's supposed to change color in the sunlight. So, I'll sit it up on the ledge up here under the light. It was more brown, so it has changed some. It's gotten more of a I guess a rose hue, you'd say, a rose hue to it. But that little stone was a dollar ninety nine, so that was kind of neat. But I, I do want to, and I'll probably sit it at the top of the shelf near the window sill just to see as the sun changes whether the stone changes or not. I, I'm really curious about this now. Got a couple things of clothes, and again, like I said. All these clothes and everything are coming in these sponsored bags, which I love. I love these bags. They're great for storing stuff and everything. Now this shirt. I hope it's as cute as it was on the model. All right. Now let me back up a little bit. Now this is one reason I got the green earrings. Okay. So this is, it's a little, just a mock turtleneck, but look at this pattern. Let me back up and show you how it goes. And don't worry, the fashion show's coming. But it's a little mock turtleneck. It's long sleeve. Sleeves are solid. Let me throw them over my shoulders. Throw the sleeves over my shoulders. But see the pattern? And look how it dips down in that little triangle. Isn't that pattern? Isn't that beautiful? And then you've got the pattern up here. That's just going to be so pretty. So. Now this material. 
it's not the shiny, but it's definitely, I can feel the spandex in it. It says 100% polyester, but I can feel more of a spandex in it. It's got the stretch. But isn't that a beautiful shirt? Just gorgeous. With the little pink going through it. And that design. And this little shirt was eleven forty eight. I really like this shirt. I really, really like this shirt. Now the next shirt. Just a nice casual shirt to wear with a pair of leggings. <coughs> Excuse me, or a pair of jeans. It can even be used as a lightweight jacket. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's got some wrinkles on it. I'm not sure how to open this thing. Okay. So, it's got a collar. Nice collar. I like the colors and the pattern. Nice long cuff sleeves. You've got the button. Button cuff sleeves. And then the back. Look at the back. It's got that top across the back with your stitching. Like nice dress shirts do. Now this feels like a cotton. Of course it's not going to tell me. But this is almost. I mean, look. It buttons all the way down the front. But look how long it is. It's almost a sweater length. Oh, I'm trying to hold it all the way up so you can see it. <laughs> but look at the colors. Isn't that beautiful? It's not like a flannel shirt. I'm trying to see if it gives me a tag. Or we can look at the materials. Here it is. Look at the material. It's 100% polyester wash with like colors. Machine wash cold, gentle cycle. Do not bleach, tumble dry low. Low iron if needed. It's gonna need something. But it's really pretty. It almost reminds me of an Oxford cloth. If you're familiar with that kind of material. But it's real pretty. It's real pretty, and I think with the t-shirt underneath it, and a pair of jeans, or a pair of leggings, it's going to look really nice. Now, this next little t-shirt is real cute. Real cute. It's a birthday gift from my daughter-in-law. Oh, that little, I didn't tell you how much it was. Sorry about that. It's fifteen twenty-eight. Like I said, this is a little gift from my daughter-in-law. Now that little piece of tissue paper didn't help anybody. <laughs> Nobody at all. Alright. So this says Live like Rose, dress like Blanche, think like Dorothy. Speak like Sophia, the Golden Girls. Isn't that cute? And we all like the Golden Girls. And this was 1048. So I got that little shirt for her for her birthday. We all like the Golden Girls. So that's for her. Now, with that green shirt. I thought about it. I said, well, let me pick up this little green purse I saw. And again, I didn't realize this purse was going to be so small. Timu gets me on those purses. I look at the dimensions, but still, they get me on those things. Because when those models hold them, I tell you, those models must have be really tiny. I mean, really tiny. Because they sure look like the purse is bigger than it is. Alright, this little purse was $14.39. It's got plastic around it, and they got plastic around the handles. Ah! <laughs> I'm just 
tearing it up over here. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just going to tear everything up. I'm trying to get the plastic off the handle. <laughs> it's adult-proof plastic. That's what it is. It's adult-proof plastic. There we go. Now this is supposed to have. So it's a cute little purse. Little green purse. Little handles. Now it's supposed to have a little charm with it. So let's open up the zipper. Got a long strap. Oh, we got a big bag in here holding it. It's supposed to have, Oh, here it is. Yeah. A little butterfly charm. That clips on. I guess it clips on to the zipper. Yeah. Let's see if with these nails I can clip it onto the zipper. Yeah. Okay. So you've got one big compartment inside, and then over here you've got a zipper compartment for inside storage. And then of course the long straps. To make it a cross body or over the shoulder. But it's a real pretty green. Unzip the zipper. It's a real cute little purse. Yeah. And you've got your little butterfly charm. And it's really nice. The stitching is done really nice. I mean, this doesn't look like the pleather. This looks like real leather. You got the feet on the bottom. This is really cute, and that's going to look really good with that green shirt. So, I'm real happy with this. It's small, but for my purposes going out, you know, just for that one time, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Well, <sighs> we did it. We made it. We made it through the biggest team muha I've ever had. And I wanted to thank you all for staying with me. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. We've got exciting things to come. So be sure to come back and join me. And thank you for spending your time with me. But remember, the most important thing is to have a blessed day. And remember, Genesis 31, 49, the Lord watched between me and thee when we were absent from one another.